Hello everyone. I'm Shay and welcome to Blissful Divination. Today I want to read about ASAP Rocky and Rihanna's relationship. Where have I been you guys? Under a rock? How did I not know this? Now you guys heard me say that I've been guiding, guarding my eye gates, my ear gates, and my mouth gates, y'all. So when I tell you that I don't like watch TV, TV like that, like I, I don't keep up with a lot of different stuff. I do because it's my job, but like I'm not like following them for fun or anything like that after, you know, like just because I, I want to know. But like every now and again when I'm perusing or out and about some inspirational strike and I heard that ASAP Rocky was going around on GQ in this GQ magazine uh, article saying that she is the one. Now, at first I was like, is she the one and she not with it? He just saying she the one and he gonna go after it. But like, nah, they like a thing, a couple. I'm like, okay, well, I wanna see about this relationship because apparently they've been together for a year now, okay? A year. And guess what, guys? I'm gonna use one of the new decks I designed to tell you about it, okay? This is called the L'Esprit deck. And today I am using my pocket size L'Esprit deck so you can discreetly do readings on a go. And I love this one, right? Because it just, I can't stop playing with it. It's just so freaking cute. But when we turn it over, all right, so their relationship right now, right off the back, we're gonna start off their relationship, uh, is little known about it, right? Like she still likes to be private, I guess, but we're gonna see if it, if she shows up here or if this is all a one-sided thing on him or what is the deal? Are they, mm. so we'll try it. We'll see what's going on. They are so small and convenient and easy to just whip out real quick. So that's what I'm doing. Like I have these in my pocket all the time, you guys. I'm constantly shuffling or or touching them because I'm just like, oh, ah, ah. So, you know, I have another size that's, that's larger than this, a couple of sizes actually. So this one is just real convenient because I really got tired of fighting with the dang camera. And so I decided to make my own. Ta-da! All right, so we're gonna go look at it. And okay. And sun. And commitment. And, okay, him, okay, there he is. Okay, a kid or something new, or he's being naive. Okay, uh, spiritual, okay. So basically they're talking about him, right? He, this is like something new for him. Apparently, they want to talk about like this woman has come in and he's made a, a decision about what he wants. He's made a decision about the commitment. And I guess, you know, he, what he said, what he was said, you know, but what is going on is. It's pe constantly people going to come up at war with that. So let's go ahead and flip. I'm going to flip and all of them and just see where she is. In a relationship reading, we want to kind of see them close to the heart. Okay. Don't you mess with me, cards. Don't you mess with me. Okay. Eh, for a minute. For a minute. <laughs> I thought they were saying Rihanna was pregnant. Y'all, I was like, wait a minute. Don't you play with me. <laughs> don't you play with me. Okay. Okay. Well, 
first of all, here's love. The heart. Okay. And here they are over here. So, oop, I forgot one. There we go. Okay, so she's focusing on him and he's focused on her. We want to see that she's working hard, but it seems like there might be some kind of blockage by another woman. Okay, so this is another woman card, but it's also a work card. Like, So she's got on her mind this burden of another woman. There's some other, there's another woman in this situation. Okay. Part of me wants to say that she's a big, a big star. Okay. And this person is currently in the situation. Um, and see Rihanna, she don't got time for that. So she's like, look, cause she's focusing on her projects and her money and her happiness I don't know what kind of situation he got going on right here, but there is a person, there's there's another woman, a burdensome other woman on her mind, as well as like her, her company, like a big organization, a famous. So this person right here is a famous person, but also she has work on her mind and all that. And he's thinking about, you know, oh, I got to make a decision, you know, about my commitment. He likes the sex. He likes the sex in a relationship. Um, I feel like they're when they talk about love, he gets nervous when they talk about love. You know what I mean? When they talk about the relationship in the future, I feel like he gets a little nervous. And Deep down, there is something that is preventing them from settling down. Like they're like, okay, so there's like some borders and limitations. There's a there's a, there's a cap on borders. There's, there's limitations there, you know, that they're working to blow blast away about the family, about about their foundation, about the foundation of their relationship. So there's something that they're working on. There's a block there that they are working on destroying because I feel like something is is going on there and that they're trying to work through that you know she has a large organization like I said here it is a famous organization I feel like also this could be, this is also saying that she's in conflict with some family members or a member of her family as well. So this could be what they're working through, that she's going through something with a family member or something like that. I want to say this is for entertainment purposes only. And if you're into enjoying it so far, please give me a thumbs up. But yeah, I'm trying to, this is entertainment. Um... And I don't know them personally, and she don't tell me all her secrets. However, my peeps want to say this about the situation. So there's some sort of conflict or something that's going on um, with her family or a family member, like a person that's like or a person that's like family. Um, so she's handling her business, she's handling him, and she's handling her family. Him, on the other hand, he's stressed and worried and there's sex, you know, and then he has his fame, but he's blocked. I feel like they want to say saying to me that he's kept in his place and I'm not saying it in a bad way, but like, I feel like she compartmentalizes. So she has boundaries and... I feel like she's not treating him like hubby if he's not hubby, if that makes any sense. Like, she's like, I got this. I'm handling it. And he's like, I'm here to support you. But she'd be like, no, but yeah. Okay, thank you. But I got this. No need to worry yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's husband shit. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> That's husband stuff. So, you know, I got this. 
I feel that kind of energy with it. Um, but that's her man. Ooh. I'm just like, oh my goodness. The secrets are behind him. There was some, 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 some hidden, like it was, it was some things that needed to be healed about his past or whatever. And he handled that. I feel like there's some, like, like there's some sort of, um, they ended some sort of technology type of, they've stopped doing something that's got to deal with technology in regards to their relationship. They've, I want to say like, they have an agreement not to discuss their relationship in too fine of a detail. However, I feel like, I don't think he can hold it. <laughs> I don't know if he can hold it. And I'm just checking to see what else. I want to say like their relationship, I feel like for this relationship to go to the next level, because right now they are just kicking it, okay? They have feelings, okay? They've they've been friends for a long time. And what I feel like is this is like a mature type of relationship. Like you ever be in a mature relationship and it doesn't feel all butterfly and giddy and childish and whatever. It feels like, yes, this is what I've been talking about kind of thing. You're like, yes, that's what I'm talking about. This is healthy. This is mature. Like this is a mature relationship. Like they deal with stuff on a maturity level. And I feel like she inspires him. Like, I feel like she has made him a better person and not because he was a bad person, but I feel like he's grown so much. And at the foundation, however, but the last, the last frontier is the spiritual aspect. I feel like there's a spiritual aspect here that's blocked. Like, in order for them to go to the next level, they need to take their relationship to the next level in a spiritual sense. You know, her business is lucrative right now. Her baby is making her money. And I feel like they go through these periods of times, like like they spend a lot of time together and then they spend a lot of time apart. It's like a, a, a touch and go. Well, or they'll get going and be having some time and then they'll become, a, some, an issue will come up and then they have to spend some time apart a little bit. But because this is a mature situation, I feel like he worries about it a little bit, but not a lot. Like, I feel like he's trying to really be that guy. Like he is really trying to be that next level guy. Like he's been told next level. Like he has to always keep growing. I don't feel like Rihanna is the type of person, like the energy that I'm getting right now, he doesn't have to be anything but his best self. Ooh, yes. He doesn't have to be anything but him best self, but he has to constantly continue to grow. And I feel like he is trying and doing very well meeting the occasion, but he stresses about it. Like he's trying to rise to that next level. And I feel like the only way that he can do that is going to have to happen on the spiritual. The spiritual thing is it was just going to catapult him. It's going to catapult him to that next level because like I said, I, I don't feel like she's all about, oh, you got to have more money than me or just as much money to me, even if he does or he doesn't. But for her, it's more like what kind of person you are on the inside? What's your inner man like? And I feel like she's like, I need a man. I don't need a child. 
I'm a businesswoman. Like, I feel like he is rising to, he is trying to be that. He is trying to be that one. Like, girl, like, it's like he wants her to feel about him the way she does. But that's where he's getting it twisted because you love her like you love her. And she's going to love you like she loves you. And you want to, you need to want to be on that next level, not because you feel like you're inferior, but because that's where you're led to go. And that's how you do it. Because I feel like everybody that's on that next level, you never set out and was like, oh, this is, we're getting ready to have the next level right now. I think that you kind of get, you know, you're working, you're working. Like for instance, for me, I'll be like, how do you not know? This is what you do for a living. Okay. I do this for a living. I have open days and closed days. So like. On a closed days, I do not. You guys, I play video games. Let's just be real. I'm going to be real. I'm keeping it real. I'm a video game girl. I watch video games. I listen to music. I meditate. I, I don't have time to waste on just finding out people's business because if I want to know somebody's business, I'll just... Do, 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 do. So I don't spend time with that. But when I'm open to finding out and hearing and sharing, that's where we are. So I don't have time. Like I feel like next level people just work. They're just working on it project to project. They're like, they cross that bridge when they come to it. And I feel like um, that's where she is. And that's where he she's inspiring him to do, to create a legacy. I hear the word legacy. To create this legacy. To And, and Rihanna, she's like, this is meaningful for her as far as her career and all that is meaning for her, meaningful to her. But a lot of the problems that she has had in her relationships, I feel that the, the energy that I'm getting is that they don't understand loyalty. Like I'm hearing the word loyalty. Loyalty and maturity is very important. So basically, I got stuff to do. Go busy yourself that don't end jeopardize messing up with what we got. I mean, how hard is it? You know, for a real man, it's not hard at all. If that's where your heart and your mind is, it's not hard at all. So I feel like that's what she's, I feel like she's saying I don't ask for a lot. You know what I mean? And so when people fall short of that expectation, I don't feel like she is like, oh, you know, dirty talk or bad talk or whatever. I feel like she's just kind of like, okay, but I'm not here for it. You know, do you, but I'm not the one. Like, not in a bad way, but just on a mature, very, it could come off very cold. It could come off very, but it's not. It's it's just is what it is. You know what I mean? It's okay. You want to do X, Y, and Z. Great, that's fine. But you know what? I don't. That's not part of my journey. I do have no desire or no wish to do X, Y, and Z. Now, we have a situation. You can go do X, Y, and Z and I'll root for you. Or you can continue to and you can and you can do X, Y, and Z, or you can be in this relationship and do ABC, something else. But you decide whatever choice that you go with, I I support it. You know what I mean? I I, I just there's this level, this is spiritual thing. I, I feel like in this relationship, the spiritual harmony is not there. But if they are to tap into that, if ASAP taps into that, because I really think it's cute. You guys, oh my God, who would not want a guy to go around and be like, she is the one. All those other women I had, she is more, from way, she, oh, 100 of them. You know what I mean? I'm paraphrasing. Like I can't remember exact number of how many of the other women he had was worth one Rihanna. Uh, it's interesting, but I love it, right? I don't know. There's a boundary though, guys. Am I right or am I right? Comment down in the, in the comments below. Like, is there a limit on how much a guy can say I love you? Is there a limit on, you know, like why do we feel funny? I don't know. But a lot of women that I know feel funny when a guy is openly expressing his love and openly expressing his feelings. Like they think he's weak or they think that something's wrong with him or whatever. You know, we have a hard time accepting that. Like, oh, does that say something about us or does it say something about him? Something to think about. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, I think it's a blessing. Okay, I think it's a blessing. If someone is willing to trust you with their love and their heart, you're not responsible for it, but I think it is also something to be grateful for. And I think that once he 
he is growing exponentially and it is beautiful you guys he is shining he is like shine bright like a diamond I, this i see this mug this mug is like his head he has like that shiny star behind his head he is just like i oh my god it's so cute oh my god it's beautiful you guys so that's my take on it um wow Wow, I think he's so cute. And one last story before I go. Okay, it's not like I met ASAP Rocky or something, but I had, okay, I never knew who ASAP Rocky was. Probably almost back in 14, 2014, 2015, ASAP Rocky was given a concert at my university. And uh, I was going back for some uh, continuing education stuff. And People were like, and there were posters everywhere and some of my uh, fellow classmates and stuff like that, they were like, oh, are you going to stay on campus? Because I lived two hours away. I commuted to school every day. And they were like, are you going to come and stay and watch the ASAP Rocky concert? He's going to be at the student union. I'm like, who? They're like, ASAP Rocky. I was like, they said, this guy. So first thing I saw, like his name was started with an A and then he had a dollar sign for the S or whatever. And I'm just like, who is this corny man? I was like, this must be some Toronto mans. You know, I like, I don't know. Is he like a Toronto star? They were looking at me like I had alien horns. I'm like, what? It's too many, right? I did it. There was too many people. I thought he was cute though. Oh my God. I thought he was cute though. He was a cute guy. Like I really thought he had the cutest little baby teeth and lips. Okay. Don't ask me how, but like you ever see a guy and you're just like, oh my God, he's so cute. So I think that they they are a match, but he, he came to the student union. I did not go because I thought he was a Toronto man's. I thought, you know, he was just from some Toronto artist that only people in Toronto know. I didn't know like he was like a star or something. <laughs> so I had missed my opportunity to go see ASAP Rocky, but, um, there we go. <sighs> it's mature, you guys. And it's, it's inspired him to be a better man. She's inspiring him to be a better man. He needs to up his spiritual game to get to that next level. And he will start seeing things manifest the way he wants it. And I want to thank you guys for sticking with me to this far into the video. If you would like a get a to get a personal reading with me, please check the description box below for my link to my website. You can see what services I offer, the prices, and book directly online there. Um... Soon, as a matter of fact, I will have these cards up in my store. Check the, the description box below for the link to the store if you want to get in on ordering these cards because I don't use anyone's cards anymore. That's it. Spirit has told me. Spirit was like, uh, we don't talk to them no more. Um, we going to talk to you through this. And I'm telling you because I tried to use the other one and they was like, we're like, we, it's kind of like when you close a book. I closed that book and I've opened this book and this is where <clears throat> I check. I channel through them, through them now. And they were just like, Pfft. I wanted to use them. Oh, you guys don't know how long I was waiting to use them. But I'm going to do a live stream about all the designs I have and what I have. But I just put a couple up there if you guys want to. Because it takes a little bit of time to, to get them. But I want to thank you guys. Ah, I'm so excited. But as always, guys, elevate. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.